I decided to do a little beautification myself. I started to see some lines and wrinkles around my eyes and just felt that it was time. So doing this a little bit backwards because as you can see, I'm post laser procedure, but I wanted to share my experience day by day with the fractionated CO2 laser, what we call the dot laser in the periorbital or around the eyes. So uh, what you'll see is day by day. Well, it's the night before my dot laser, and uh, like most patients, I'm a little bit anxious, actually. I'm planning on, you know, getting taking care of some of the stuff around my eyes, probably in this area. Hope wants to treat my forehead as well, which I got a lot of wrinkles, but I'm not sure. We're gonna see, I don't think we're gonna be able to address this area here, which is um, a little rosacea. It's not really what the laser's for. Anyway, um, I picked up my Medrol dose pack. I haven't started it yet, but uh, hopefully I'll be ready to go tomorrow. So this is what I look like. Uh, Hope injected some lidocaine. She injected it actually. And um, I also have this topical agent, benzocaine, tetracaine, lidocaine, which is topically numbing some of the skin. I don't need both, but where she didn't inject I wanted to uh, have a little topical anesthetic. So the Saran Wrap helps the <clears throat> tetracaine. I don't have it on one side. So I'll probably wait about 15, 20 minutes. I just took my steroid pack, the Medrol dose pack, which will help with um, swelling and uh, we'll be underway. It's about 10 minutes following my dot. Uh, my cheeks are a little bit numb. I can hear myself lisping a little bit. The treatment itself was better than I thought. Uh, that being said, it, it, following the treatment, <clears throat> um, on a scale of one to 10, the burning felt like a six. We do recommend that uh, patients use ice. Uh, I'm violating that rule right now. I've been doing it for the last 10 minutes, but I don't want I want to minimize swelling, so I really want to get something on it right away acutely. It also still burns a little bit. It probably feels like a 3 out of 10 now, and um, I know in the next 3, 4 hours, it'll go down to a 0. Um, burning won't be a problem later. It uh, is a little bit intense initially, but I look pretty good relative to how I'm going to look tomorrow and for the next several days. But... Um, here I am, less than 10 minutes following my dot periorbital or lower eyelid treatment. I felt that um, um, the epinephrine, it felt very weird for my face to be numb. I developed a little bit of a headache. I don't know if that's because I haven't eaten all day, but uh, or if it was from being anxious perhaps. But, uh, but all of that is gone. Just had a nice dinner and... Um, Things are going well, as we tell patients they do. So this is the night, about four or five hours after uh, the dot laser procedure. Good morning. This is post-operative day one, really post-dot, we call it post-laser. And I'll take my glasses off. We treated, hope treated the periorbital area, the area around my eyes, coming into my crow's feet here. Um, last night was pretty uneventful overall after the pain subsided. I mentioned it went from a 7 to a 3 to a 0 pretty quickly over about 3 or 4 hours. I kept the Aquaphor on, had dinner, went to bed. You're supposed to sleep with your head elevated. Of course, I didn't. Well, I tried to, but I fell off the pillows. pillow ended up on the floor. Um, that's really more for swelling. Swelling goes away, so I'm not terribly worried. I did take my Metro Dose Pack both yesterday, right before the laser, we usually want to get that on board before we create any incision or injury to our tissue to diminish that wound healing response. So I did that and I just took it a little while ago this morning. Um, I was able to shower this morning pretty easily. I could feel those little crusts on my skin. Hope talked about whitish or yellowish crusts that form. That's a fibrinous exudate. That's good stuff. It's good healing stuff. but feels sort of weird, so I wiped that off. And um, when I got out, I reapplied the Aquaphor. 
problem is with dressing, we usually tell you to wear a button down or a large neck shirt. A scrub top is not. You can probably see somewhere on my scrubs. After I put the aquaphor on, I tried to pull my scrubs on, which is a little bit tight. So anyway, the aquaphor is messy. Um, so I just reapplied the aquaphor again. Um, uh, feels, um, I don't know, warmish, kind of like maybe I've had a glass of wine or something and, and there's more blood flow to the area, which there is. It doesn't hurt, doesn't feel like a sunburn. Um, basically, there's no pain. It just doesn't look very good. Uh, but we are uh, operating today, so um, we're back at it, and I'll continue to uh, follow up day by day. So I'm gonna put some more exosomes on. So today's day three, using the exosomes. I did a hyperbaric treatment yesterday. I'm not sure how much that did as a single treatment, but today's Friday. So we'll see how things look uh, over the next couple of days and uh, we'll go from there. Good morning, this is day four following the dot laser procedure around uh, the eyes, my eyes. Uh, overall, things are going pretty well. You can see a little bit, a couple little brown spots. Still, You can still see the, the, the dots, the literal dots from the laser, but you can see some of the skin that hasn't uh, flaked off yet. Today, I'm probably just going to use a little Q-tip like this and try to rub that skin off a little bit. But you can see all the pink skin coming in underneath very nicely. Um, um, the Aquaphor has a little bit of an odor. Maybe it's my skin healing. Maybe it's the exosomes. Uh, it's not bad, but uh, it is noticeable. Uh, bothers me a little bit when I sleep. The tissue otherwise uh, is healing well. After the exosomes yesterday, things felt a little bit tight because I left the Aquaphor off. Um, reapplying that feels good. It's a great barrier, and uh, I'm about a day or so away from uh, probably the skin being re-epithelialized so that I can start using a moisturizer. Um, overall, I've been, uh, you know, active, working out, working. It really doesn't affect uh, my vision at all. Aquaphor is a little bit messy, does get uh, on some of my clothes, but uh, it's also a little bit tender to touch. Not tender this way, but if I push on it, like if I'm rinsing my face and pushing, a little bit tender, um, but otherwise doesn't really bother me. But uh, things are moving along pretty well. And this is day five, post dot. I've used some Cetaphil to go ahead and clean some of that, the dead skin, that brown skin off. It's mostly pink. When that flakes, it does itch a little bit. Um, but um, so it looks a little bit erythematous, a little bit pink. Uh, I certainly look pretty uh, ragged here uh, without shaving. But, um, but, it's starting to come along, and I certainly hope by tomorrow, as soon as I'm going back to the office, uh, I'll be I'll be looking a little bit uh, a little bit better. This is the night of day five post dot, and you can see a lot of the brown stuff is um, has fallen off. I think that's what itches when this uh, comes off. I put a little thin coat of Aquaphor on. Hopefully to, by tomorrow I'll be using uh, either hydrocortisone or simply a uh, moisturizer. Anyway, I'm getting ready for the Bengals game. It looks fairly red still. Um, we'll see how things go. I'm not sure that the dot was successful. We'll see at some of the vascular areas, the little angiomas that Hope was trying to take care of, but we'll probably follow up with intense pulse light for that. This is the morning of post-op day six. I did the dot last Tuesday, today's Monday morning. I've got a fair amount of swelling. You can see a lot of the tissue is very pink. I put a little bit of moisturizer on. A couple little brown areas where she feathered it here. I could probably come off relatively easy, but um, I'll get that off today. The itching has stopped. There's a general warmth that I feel. 
um, kind of like a sunburn, like a, or maybe like you've been drinking a lot of red wine and cheeks get flushed. Um, but otherwise, it's starting to look better. I haven't really put anything else over it. I'll use, start using moisturizer today. And um, otherwise, I feel pretty well. Well, uh, it's still day six. It's Monday. This was done last Tuesday. Uh, this morning, uh, I videotaped. I showed you like how red it was. Uh, why do I have this on? Well, a couple of things. Dr. Hope thought that maybe that was a little bit more inflamed than usual. I got scolded for working out and being outside and doing some of the things that uh, we tell people not to. So what I'm doing is um, I'm gonna go ahead and use, this is Eucerin uh, cream. I can rub it in more, but there's really nothing for me to do right now. So I'm, I just put it on as a moisturizer. Underneath that, however, we did have her, uh, she called me in two and a half percent hydrocortisone. There are different types of anti-inflammatories that can be used. So I'm gonna put this on just to decrease some of the inflammation. And again, I don't think inflammation is such a bad thing. There was injury. We want all of the injury the, from the laser to create a wound healing response. I don't think that's so bad. Um, it doesn't hurt. It does feel a little bit warm, um, but like I mentioned earlier, if I drink red wine or um, am active or in the sun, my cheeks might feel that way anyway from the rosacea. So the problem with the inflammation potentially is number one, it could cause that post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, PIH we call it. And uh, Hope talked about that prior to me doing this, which is having some color in the skin isn't the worst thing, but being outside or keeping those cells revved up like the melanocytes, the pigment producing cells because our eye and our skin and our hair color, we don't want the melanin to be expressing itself now or this could turn brown, darker. And in that case, I would use a different cream um, called hydroquinone to help block the produ production of that. I, it's early now, that doesn't happen right at this point anyway, but that is one of the concerns. The second concern, you can't see this now, but I had that rosacea and those little angiomas um, of course, with more blood flowing to the area with a, a bigger revved up inflammatory response, um, uh, it, we could exacerbate some of the rosacea as well. Okay, so eucerin, hydrocortisone. Um, Hope also thought that maybe well, a little Keflex, a little antibiotic. I don't think there's any infection or anything, but I'm going to listen to her this time. And perhaps at night, just to decrease more inflammation, those histamines that are released, just some good old fashioned Benadryl. So anyway, um, she, uh, she scolded me a little bit, but, uh, but I'm, I'm moving on. Uh, don't, uh, I'm probably going to try to get one more workout in and uh, before I start uh, a Medrol dose pack possibly again. And um, I think if you recall, that was looked like this. So I might take one more course of these. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Today is our day seven update. So we treated Dr. Mendelssohn's under eyes with dot laser one week ago, and we're going to show you his progress. So today, pink, still looking good. How's it feeling? <clears throat> yeah, it feels pretty good. You know, I've done a few updates through the week. Uh, it's less pink than it was last night. And... Um, so if I can walk through this a little bit, the immediately following the procedure felt a little bit weird, numb, light sunburn within hours that was gone. I managed really well, I thought. I'm not a great patient, but uh, just simply using the Aquaphor. Um, <clears throat> we did apply the exosomes uh, several days, about day three, day two or three. And, um, three. Mm -hmm. and so that felt pretty soothing. Uh, then I began using the, the Aquaphor. I did work out once, maybe twice. Um, I was outside, not necessarily in the sun, but going for a walk outside was a little warm. I could feel my cheeks flush. They do anyway mm -hmm. if I you know, drink wine or, or if I'm active. Um, I got yelled at a little bit yesterday by, uh, by Hope saying I wasn't following directions, but I did the Medrol Dose Pack um, initially. And, um, but yesterday, because things were a little bit more inflamed, 
I hope gave me a number of alternatives, including topical hydrocortisone, two and a half percent cream, which I used, uh, along with Benadryl, which I did not use, along with another medrol dose pack, which you recommended maybe I shouldn't use, but I did take some of that. Yeah. Um, and then the Eucerin cream, which is actually very, uh, very moisturizing. So that's really the first time I put moisturizer on right. with this whole thing. So yesterday he did look more red, and we do sometimes see that. I don't think it was an actual reaction. I think just when we wean down off of the Medrol, sometimes our skin will have a little rebound erythema, a little bit of that inflammation will show back up. And then sometimes all it needs is a little extra moisturizer, so extra water in whatever cream we're using. For Dr. Mendelssohn, I think I gave you Eucerin Original Healing Cream, which right. is a little heavier than what he was doing before. I wrote him a prescription for hydrocortisone ointment, which is just a mild steroid ointment on top. So that pill pack you do initially is oral medication for uh, that steroid effect, the anti-inflammatory effect. And once that weans down to the last pill, sometimes your body's like, oh, where'd my steroid go? I want a little bit more of that. And so that I think that's all that happened. And then the hydrocortisone fixed it up within you know a day. It looks a lot less inflamed. So. Yeah, one thing with inflammation, I mean, my philosophy is, you know, we're doing this not just to ablate the epidermis yeah. and stimulate the dermis, but inflammation, I think, is a good thing to really rev up those fibroblasts yeah. to produce collagen. Okay, so that's the positive side. Yep. The other side is, you know, Hope talked about post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is the melanin in our skin, in our eyes, in our skin, in our hair. When those melanocytes get stimulated or inflamed, when they get excited, they express themselves, and perhaps if that's left unchecked, I could develop what's called PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or some brown spots in this area. So, <clears throat> so that's one, one thing. The second thing is uh, this device, the DOT laser, the fractionated CO2 laser, is not intended to address vascular problems. Hope mentioned I had this rosacea, this little, these little angiomas. We'll see how they do. I'm not sure they were mostly on this cheek but um, but my intent is to have hope use the intense pulse light to try to treat some of these yeah, there it, it, it's they do look a little faded a little less strong so whenever you have these red marks on your skin sometimes they're like little bumps sometimes they're little patches we call telangiectatic mats they're vascular so they're fed by various little blood vessels around them and they look more calm since that laser they probably shrinked and coagulated a little bit of that blood within and around them so now we're going to come back and IPL, so use that intense pulse light, which really helps target redness in the skin and hopefully get rid of a few of them or at least reduce them significantly further. So. Yeah, so uh, so anyway, so this is one week. I've obviously been operating every day. Uh, patients were aware, especially the first patient. I think I had just had it done and uh, she was coming in from out of town, but um, I was able to function f fairly well. Went to the Bengal game, no problem. Mm -hmm. Perhaps that's why it was a little more red where he got a little bit of that wind but cold we'll, air. <laughs> yeah, but we'll, we'll continue. And um, yeah, I think I'll probably have you treat the IPL. Also, I probably should have listened to Hope here. She mentioned treating my forehead at the same time. My excuse was I didn't want to do it wearing my headlight and everything else, but it probably would have been easier to um, to just be done with it. So, um, and maybe a we'll little, have to come back at him. A little round bro, two. A little Botox. I see what happens though. I see how you get a little bit. I mean, you know, yeah, you treat one area, you treat one <laughs> thing, then you see another, that's how it goes. <laughs> Anyway, okay, Looking good. that's the update. This is day eight following my DOT procedure. Things are coming along pretty nicely. Skin is looking very pink. New skin has uh, grown in. A lot of that, all that brown stuff has really come off. That is the stuff that was peeling the dead skin. Um, I've been using some hydrocortisone cream, two and a half percent, just to decrease some of the inflammation. Swelling finally looks like it's gone down more. There isn't really any problem, any itching. Still using the Eucerin cream, which has been great for, as a moisturizer, very soothing. Uh, the little angiomas, even though this was not the purpose of this treatment, uh, I don't think will be successfully removed. We'll probably do intense pulse light to address those. Anyway, um, uh, I did the exosomes, I did the hyperbaric, but needless to say, it was about uh, five days before things started to really turn. And over the past couple of days, uh, I can see a ton of progress. This is 
nine days following my dot procedure around my eyes. Uh, things are looking pretty good overall. Really, I'm not doing too much to uh, to care for. I'm using the hydrocortisone um, maybe once a day and uh, a little bit of the moisturizer. But uh, things look pretty good. If I wore makeup, I'd probably be able to cover it. I mean, the skin texture is looking quite good right now. Um, and uh, I've been working normally and uh, things are moving along. This is post dot day 10, um, doing really well. A little bit red. What I did here is I put a little bit of uh, tinted sunscreen on, which I never do, but just to get a sense for uh, how it could look. Covered up. The skin texture is very smooth. You can start to see some of the swelling going down, so you can, I'm gonna need a little Botox here, but the skin itself uh, is doing real well. I'm still using the hydrocortisone probably once a day, and there's probably not a lot to report here. This will continue to fluctuate. Um, we did have a meeting this morning talking more about exosomes, so I may do some more of that along the way, but right now it's really work as usual, and um, let's keep you updated. Post dot day 10, Dr. Hope has decided that it's time for uh, a little intense pulse light for these telangiectatic mats, as she calls them. Little vascular areas. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's your goggles. I'll let you know before I do anything. Okay, so I'm just going to start with a little mediocre setting here, and we'll see. So, quick little pulse. One, two, three. What does it feel like? Uh, fine. Okay. One, two, three. A little bit more. I think I need to go up. I think you need to go up. Go up. <clears throat> mm. We can always treat them again, too. Right, I'm not. All right. Okay, a little bit in the front of your cheek on the right side. One, two, three. There we go. And again. One, two, three. And I'm going to get these stronger ones one more time. What does it feel like? Hot at all or no? Not a little warmth, but nothing. Not bad. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. I feel like I could go up again, but I don't know how strong you want me to be. Um, well... It didn't give me any perperic effect. Um, well, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Let me just do one more. One more across the deep one. And here we go. One, two, three. Okay, I went up to 22, and if it's two, which is a decent setting, but it's still not as flushy purple as I want, but I don't want to burn you. Okay. Today is day 11 post dot. Uh, I have been doing this every day, but things are improving so much that it's, I mean, it's not normal, but it is very lightly pink. My cheeks are always flushed anyway from rosacea, but it has re-epithelialized very well. And uh, I still, I did put a little hydrocortisone on uh, today, uh, the weather's beautiful here, and I'm um, just trying to keep the inflammation down so I don't hyperpigment. But things uh, things are good, and um, honestly, I'm trying to be uh, a little bit um, gentle, not rubbing too vigorously. Um, but other than that, I mean, it really is back to normal. I did put a little bit of, uh, I guess we have some tinted sunscreen here. I don't usually use it. I don't have it on now, but I did put it on uh, one side yesterday just to see how easy it would be to cover it up, and it worked quite well. 
So at this point, I'll probably just follow up with, uh, with photos, but um, I'll go ahead and put the day by day together. And um, really was a pretty nice procedure.